Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspie's five box all about that Bowman draft. Baseball mixer, random team break. Uh, no combos, everyone gets a team in baseball, all card chip. A lot of different years in there as well. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. Congrats again to the people who won their way in as well. All 30 teams are in. Let's roll it. Randomized names and teams. Three and a six, nine times each. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Got Josh down to Tristan after nine. Three and a six, nine times for the teams. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And good luck. Ninth and final time. We got Red Sox down to the Rangers. All right, Josh, you got the Red Sox. Brandon with the Diamondbacks. Omar with the Cardinals. Tristan with the Braves. David with the Marlins. Tristan with the Twins. Adam with the Nationals, Tristan with the Phillies and Giants, Adam with the Brewers, Shea with the Yankees, Tristan with the Mariners, David with the Mets, Kennard with the Orioles, Tristan with the Blue Jays, Adam with the Guardians and Reds, Chris with the Rays, Darren you got my Dodgers, Josh with the Padres, Tristan with the Rockies and A's, David with the Tigers, Tristan with the Pirates, uh, David H with the Royals, last spot mojo, David M with the White Sox and Cubs, Zach with the Astros, he has the Astros up for trade. Anthony with the Angels and Tristan with the Texas Rangers. So let's alphabetize by team. And we are going to pause uh, the video for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any. Uh, we're going to see if there's any trade. So we'll see you on the other side. All right, welcome back, everybody. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done in this five boxer here. On Sunday the 17th, thanks for uh, thanks for joining, thanks for hanging out with us, thanks for breaking with us, we appreciate you. We got more stuff in the store, jazbeescasebreaks.com if you want to join in on, on anything. So we're going to go uh, time travel a little bit, we're, I think we're going to start with, we're going to start with 17, then we'll go with 20, then 21, then we'll get into our 2023 stuff, a little, little time traveling. Appreciate it, Pete. Thank you. All right. Good luck, everybody. Still waiting for some other free agent dominoes to fall. I think Cody Bellinger still hasn't been signed. Yamamoto has been been uh, being wined and dined by the Mets. I don't think any no news there. Some other free agents here and there. Ooh, a super incoming? That would be nice. A super incoming. That would that would be nice too. Cody Bellinger is expecting like $200 million a year, something like that. Who's going to give him that? I guess someone might. I think people are concerned that... Uh, people are concerned about that injury history. I'd be... If I was a GM, why not... I mean, Bellinger might take it, but... You know, like a three or four year deal, maybe a three year deal. And if he proves that he's healthy, you know, then he could like bang out of like a big seven year, eight year contract or something like that. Angels would give, yeah, Angels probably would give him that. I mean, they do need, they do need a bat. Belly's looking for 200 million and Toronto is in on him. Interesting. And Brandon McKay was supposed to be like the, the next sort of Otani, but I think he's just a lot of injuries kind of gotten in his, got in his way. We got Brian Miller, 
35 out of 399 blue for David and the uh, fish. Most of these guys should be, I mean, if they're worth anything, they should be in the, in, in the majors by now. Yeah, Jake Berger's in there. And we got Nick Prado. Nick Prado for the Royals. It's going to be David H. Last spot in Mojo. He's playing regularly, right? There's his Bowman first autograph. From Huntington Beach. Just about 40, 40 minutes or so south of here. Is he playing reg regularly? Yeah, Jalen Revel are saying nice. The burger will go to uh, David M. and the White Sox. It's not Bobachette's first. He is, says Shilo. All right. I mean, Ryan Vallad's all right, right? Ryan Vallad, Rockies, that's going to go to Tristan, non-numbered refractor. This is a blast from the past. Dalton Varsho is pretty solid, I think. It's Diamondbacks edition going to Brandon. Yeah, I, I, I don't know who was hyped up in 2017. That's the thing. Years go by and things like things change so so drastically as, as these guys progress up the ranks. There's Riley Pint, green paper to 99. Anyone remember off the top of their head? All these all these players just blur together for me at some point. I mean, it's got to be, obviously, the, the top picks. So this year, oh, this was the Royce Lewis year. Royce Lewis was picked number one overall. Then Mackenzie Gore, Brendan McKay, Kyle Wright, Paven Smith, Kesson Hira, Joe Adele, Jake Berger, Shane Boz, Trevor Rogers, Nick Prado, Clark Schmidt, Alex Faedo, D.L. Hall. Uh, Tanner Hawk, those are the guys that kind of jump out at me here. Nate Pearson, Drew Rasmussen, who went off to a really great start this year, but he got injured. Brent Rooker. I don't remember if this was a Dylan Carlson year. No, I don't think it was a Dylan Carlson year. Who are some other notables here? And I think that's about it. All right, anyway, let's continue with 2017 draft. You know, I guess MJ Melendez, first paper. There's Paven Smith. People like his upside. Haven Smith for Brandon and the Snakes. MJ Melendez for David and the Royals. We got Nate Pearson, purple paper, 125 out of 250. That will be for Tristan in Toronto.
There's Royce Lewis, your number one overall pick. And there's Drew Ellis for Brandon and the Diamondbacks. Eighteen out of seventy-five. I think he's getting playing time. There's the Royce Lewis for the Twins. That'll be for Tristan. Is that right, Rex? Nice. Maybe we'll, maybe a third will be on the way. In this mixer, possibly. That'd be crazy in a mixer. And a plate. Look at that. It's a Will Gaddis. Not sure what he's up to these days, but a Bowman first plate. That's going to go to the Rocks. And that is for Tristan. Tristan, all aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo -woo. That's right. Yeah, Adam has the Nationals, so I don't think he'd mind if we popped our third Tom Brady autograph out of those. One of those 2023 Bowman Draft boxes here. The paper Royce Lewis. Let's save some of those. I think Royce Lewis, I mean, if he stays healthy, I mean, he's, he's the real deal. Lewis. We got JJ Matijevic, 218 out of 399 for the Astros. That'll be for Zach. And the autograph is going to be a purple chrome auto. It's Caden Lemons. Nope, not purple. Just a refractor autograph. 202 out of 499. Brewers. Adam with the Brew Crew. I'll be honest with you, Adam. I don't. I don't know if I really recognize his name on Major League rosters, but a Bowman first auto nonetheless. Purple Chrome, Alex Lang, 67 out of 250. And that's that for 2017. Yeah, let's call it a big hit, Adam. I agree. I'll do a little autograph recap at the end, too. All right, so now from 2017, we're going to go to 2020. Bowman Draft. All right, next. For some reason, did I see that Ikea is selling and giving away giant turkey-sized meatballs? For, how are they giving them away? I've I not been to an Ikea in a minute or two. But... Meatballs are, are, are pretty good there. Nice little, nice little snack while you're walking around. Skip to the 2020 draft class. And that's going to be, yeah, Spencer Torkelson, Max Meyer, Asa Lacey, Austin Martin, Emerson Hancock, Robert Hassel, Zach Veen, Reed Detmers, Garrett Crochet, Patrick Bailey, guys like that. Micah Bell, Ed Howard, Pete Crow Armstrong as a Met in this. This is the Jordan Walker year. 
Garrett Mitchell for the Brewers. Kay Cavalli, Bobby Miller for the Dodgers, so on and so forth. So forth. All right, good luck. I feel like Zach Veen is kind of a bigger name. Tristan with the Rockies. There's Bobby Miller's Bowman first, some paper. Landon Knack's supposed to be like the next Dodger sort of highly touted pitching prospect to start pushing his way into some playing time. There's Max Meyer, number three overall pick. I think he's in Oakland now. Right? Yeah, do we like that Austin that Austin Wells back there too? I mean there's a lot of a lot of promise for some of these players. You know, since this is the twenty twenty draft class, you know, now we're gonna start to see a lot of this class really push through that's not a first, but all card ship. We start to see you know, some of these players start to push into it's not a first, but it's hard to push into maybe, hopefully, some starting roles. There's Heston Kirkstad for the Orioles. That's going to be for Ken and the Orioles. And Luis Gill. Purple Chrome. 21 out of 250 for the Yankees. That's going to go to Shea. And the autograph, a nice little color match there. 40 out of 50, Gold Wave, Logan Hoffman. Tristan with the Pirates. I'm not sure where Logan Hoffman is on the, where he is currently, but hopefully he's progressing well. And we got an Austin Wells paper to four ninety nine. dollars Shane the Yankees. Green's first, but it'll ship. And we've got a Justin Lang. Blue Wave, 009 out of 150. Right, late first round pick for the Padres, Josh Yost with the Friars. Ah. Are there Pena possibilities in this? Look out for that guy. Yeah, the, the variety of years kind of helps, you know, so there's not just one or two good teams. There could be a number of really great teams here. 101 out of 150, Colt Keith, blue paper for Detroit. That'll be for David M. The Pete Crow Armstrong Mets edition going to David M. and the Mets. Rex saying the giant, people thought the giant meatball was a joke. I keep posting on the IG that in fact was real and they're giving some away. So what what what's the what's the conditions of of landing one of these giant meatballs? Where do I redeem this giant meatball? There's Robert Hassel for the Padres, who I think is with the Nationals now. He was a big part of that um, Juan Soto trade. Zach Veen. We got not numbered, but the sky blue Hayden Contrell. This one is numbered. Justin Foscue. 
125 out of 150. Rangers, that's going to be for Tristan. Our 14th overall pick. I think he's starting to push for some time. Has he, was he playing this year? I don't, don't remember. Volpe is not his first, but all cards will ship. Now, Torkelson is his first. His rookie year, I feel like, was a little, little rough. But the following year seemed to be a lot better. Maybe on his way to fulfilling his number one overall pick draft position, I guess. Oliver, what's going on? Happy Sunday. So I think we should be expecting one more auto out of this jumbo box. And there it is, Daxton Fulton for the fish. That's going to go to David M. and the Miami Marlins. Yeah, I feel like it's been a good day of football. I think the late afternoon games seemed like they were they were more blowouty, but I suppose uh, I suppose the, the Washington kept that game a little bit closer. We got some playoff positions being snapped up as well, so we're starting to see the playoff picture emerge a little bit. Feel like tonight's game should be pretty good. Dash, what's going on? How are you? That Browns game, Browns Bears game was pretty exciting. Joe Flacco overcoming a few interceptions. Another Torkelson paper. Been doing good. The gang's been keeping us busy. We've been opening up a lot of draft. You know, we're just getting ready for the holidays. People are starting to take some time off. Well-deserved time off and reset and re-gear re -gear up for the, uh, for the new year. All right, now we're moving ahead a season to 2021. This is super jumbo, so we're looking for five autographs in here. Again, some of the college prospects we'll probably start seeing. I think Henry Davis was a college prospect. We'll start seeing those college prospects start to, you know, start to challenge for some, uh, you know, for major league jobs. These are all of our sausage link packs. So this is the. This is the uh, Henry Davis year. Catcher Henry Davis. I think Jack Leiter would have been regular Bowman, the number two pick. Jackson Job for the Tigers. Marcelo Meyer. Colton Kowser. Jordan Lawler. Brady House. Harry Ford. Sal Freelich. Matt McLean's firsts are in here. He had a nice year. Um, so Reds, look out for that. Jordan Wicks. Colson Montgomery. Uh, A's Max Muncy, not Dodgers Max Muncy, Jackson Merrill, so on and so forth. Any other names that jump out at me here? No. But, you know, 2021 is still pretty recent. So, a lot of, uh, still a lot of future star possibilities that can emerge. NT Baseball's on the 29th. Yes, I, uh, 
I probably will be out of town during that stretch. What prospect am I most excited for? Well, I really only am super familiar with with uh, Dodgers prospects, but Dodgers do have some some pitching prospects that are always in the pipeline. And I want to see if there's, you know, another youngster that get promoted from the Dodgers organization, like a like a Landon Knack or something like that. See how Bobby Miller continues to uh, to evolve. Yeah, this is 2021. We've moved ahead a year. 2021 Bowman Draft Super Jumbo. Five autos should be expected out of here. And good luck, everybody. And we got a Jason Dominguez speckle. Not his Bowman first. I don't think these are numbered, right? All card chip though. These refractors not numbered as well. I think the autographs. Refractors are numbered. Here's Aaron Zavala. I don't know what his progress is here, but Tristan, that's gonna go to you, Texas Rangers. Second round pick. Marcelo Meyer. I think what he was a top five pick, yeah. Would be for the Red Sox. Uh, Josh with that one. Colton Kauser, top five pick. Yeah, what's on the, so who's on the Giants radar? I know that they, they tried to match the offer, the Dodgers offer for Otani. But Otani was like, thanks, but no thanks. They got that Korean outfielder. Yeah, this is the Korean Wade Boggs? That could, could be it. Apparently that guy's like a on-base machine. And there's Blue Micabell. 126 out of 150 for the Phillies, Tristan. Greg would love to see Yamamoto, Snell, and Chapman. That, that, that'd be a good offseason. They're still out there. They're still sitting out there. And here's Max Ferguson, 40 out of 150. Padres, that's going to be Josh Yost with the Friars. Who does everyone have in this uh, in tonight's game here? Ravens at uh, Jaguars. I think Jaguars are are uh, what three and a half point dogs. Home the short home dog. Rebels got the Jags. Yeah, I think I think that out that that outfielder does fit that Giants park pretty well. There, there's Miguel uh, Geraldo. That'll be for Tristan and the Blue Jays. Oliver has the Ravens minus three and a half. Yeah, I think I, as I typically do, I, I took the, uh, I took the Raven or the, took the Jaguars, the home dog, the short home dog, but I'm not sure if I'm feeling good about it now. It 
I did get two out of three on my uh, afternoon games. Woke up too late for morning games. We have, should be expecting three more autographs out of here. And here's another one. It's Michael McGreevy, class of 2021 auto, 228 out of 250. It's got the Redbirds. That's going to be for Omar and the Cardinals. I mean, I suppose it depends on Otani's rehab, but I, I, I have a feeling the Dodgers aren't going to risk having him pitch at all this season. I think they're going to try to avoid that. I've, all, I've long said, though, I would love to see Otani, you know, and maybe that'll happen towards the back end of that this contract, but I'd love to see him maybe become a closer at a certain point. Some less, a little less work on that, uh, on that arm. It's Alexander Ramirez, blue paper for the Angels. That's to uh, 150. It'll be for Anthony. Here's a Henry Davis, Bowman first for Tristan and the Pirates. Yeah, I mean, I, I hope the Dodgers address their, their pitching need so he doesn't have to pitch in the postseason. It might, be, it might not be a good sign if the Dodgers are having to rely on, on Otani to pitch in the postseason. But yeah, the Dodgers have, have obviously, with that big contract, you know, are, are now... You know, are now in business with him for a very long time, so I don't think they're going to really push him too too much. Yeah, would be interesting to see him DH and come in as a closer. I know it's a lot of it's a high stress inning, but it's fewer pitches you would imagine. That could be interesting. Here's Chad Patrick, two fourteen out of two fifty purple chrome. Brandon with the Diamondbacks. Yeah, yeah, I do like Glass now a lot too. I, I kind of don't like the, you know, I mean, I guess anyone could, could get injured, but, you know, he's, he's put up season highs in innings last year. Ooh, nice. Green Henry Davis, 78 out of 99. Your former uh, number one overall pick. Nice. Tristan with the Pirates. Where where is Henry Davis at? Where is what's his progression at this year? In 2023, returned to Altoona. Uh, slashed all 284, 433, 541. That's a good slash line with 10 home runs in 41 games. Then was promoted to triple A. And after 10 games, he would be promoted to the big leagues the following day. This was in June. Informally selected to the 40-man roster, slotted blah, blah, blah. On his first at-bat of the game in his major league career, he hit a double. And he hit two home runs off of Otani. And became the first player to hit two home runs off of Otani in the same game in his entire career. Did they push him to the outfield now? Yeah, he had a decent season. Only 225 at-bats. 213, 24 RBIs, 7 homers. You know, OPS of 653. So really only logged in 62 big league games, but he's got a taste of the majors. So, I mean, next year knowing that he's preparing for a full major league season, could be a nice year for him next year. One to hold on to and keep an eye on.
Gotcha. He was hurt a little, says Oliver. He was your fantasy catcher for a while. That's why, that's why Oliver has the skinny on Henry Davis. There's Reed Trimble to 99, green paper. Really? I did, I did not see that. Yeah, you gotta gotta be able to to hide your pitches, hide the signs. Gotta gotta take care of the game within the game. I know the pitching prospects aren't as desirable, unfortunately, but there's your third overall pick, Jackson Job. Justin Turner. I, I don't think there's space for Justin Turner. At this stage of his career, he's going to be, unless he wants to come off the bench, but I feel like he can still start as a DH somewhere. I don't know if, I don't know if he's kind of has, has been losing a little. And there's our, our fifth autograph, Ricky Tideman for Toronto. I'm not sure if he can play third base anymore. Obviously, the DH spot of the Dodgers is occupied by somebody else. The a Angels could slot Justin Turner in there. He's from the Orange. He's a Dodger fan, but he's grew up a Dodger fan, but from the Orange County area, right? I think somewhere down there. Somewhere down there. That's where he grew up. There's uh, Doug Nikazi, sky blue, paper to 499. I think I've heard. I think I've heard uh, maybe even the Giants maybe putting him in a DH spot. I've heard maybe, you know, the Mariners could use. Uh, a nice, some pop out of that DH spot. Justin Turner could provide that for not too big of a price. Money is a concern. All right, there you go. That was Super Jumbo. Turned out to be a nice box. Now, welcome to the present day. 2023 Bowman Draft Jumbo. Three autographs out of here. Yeah, it would be weird seeing Justin Turner in a Giants jersey, but, you know, Chuck Peterson's in a Giants, in a Giants jersey. Eventually, I guess, kind of got used to that. Seen some Cub fan pages saying we need to go out to Turner, but they hope they get uh, Matt Chapman. Yeah, I'm surprised... Chapman hasn't been snapped up. Maybe he's maybe he's weighing offers. Maybe he's seeing what the Bellinger market turns out to be. I don't know where that where that bat has gone for Chapman, but for Matt Chapman, but I think his glove is still pretty strong. I would wouldn't mind if the, if the Dodgers signed Matt Chapman for like a one or two year deal. Try to figure some things out with his swing. The Dodgers coaching staff is pretty good at that. You know, look at Jason Hayward, look at JD Martinez last year. But more importantly, you know, to have that defense at third, I wouldn't mind. I feel like he'd be, he'd be useful for any time. Blue Jays might resign him too. But I guess whoever doesn't get Matt Chapman, I feel like Justin Turner could be, again, a cheap answer. Maybe he could spot third base here and there.
Yeah, I feel like DH is where, where he would reside. All right, so we are now in the current year, 2023. We've been ripping a lot of this, so I think everyone knows the key players by now. So we've been joining all of our Bowman draft breaks. Colt Emerson, Paul Skeens. Those are the those are the guys among others that we're trying to see. Ballinger, well, I mean, Ballinger, the Blue Jays. That could be interesting. I want to put some, uh, I want to get some uh, bats out there. There's Brandon Winokur from Minnesota. That'll be for Tristan and the Twins. 97 out of 499. Now, speaking of 2023 Bowman Draft, we have the uh, ooh, nice yellow lunar Yasser Mercedes to 75 for Tristan and the Twins. We have how many spots left in the filler? It's sold out. Nice. So we got a case of jumbo coming up uh, after my dinner break. Because after I finish this, we'll do the randomizer for the teams. So you know what teams you have, and I'll take a quick break, refuel, and I'll be ready to power through that jumbo break. Also, there's Nathan Detmer to 199, Purple Lunar. Uh, we're gonna have that next Bowman draft, eight box break, pick your team eight, going into a filler. So if you wanna get that, if you wanna get your team straight up now, if you were eyeing a team, you wanted to get a team straight up, now would be the time. Now would be that time. I think I'm putting that, that NT football, that one box break into a number block as well. So if you're eyeing some teams there, grab some teams and maybe make the price of that break a little bit, a little bit less expensive. There's a Matt Shaw. Nice one for the Cubs. Glass. David with the Cubs. David M. Wyatt Langford, Jonah Cox, 250. Purple Chrome for Tristan and the A's. Tristan also has Texas. All right, should still be expecting two more autos out of here. Purple Wyatt Langford, Max Clark will go to David M. And the Tigers. There's a Matt Shaw for the Cubs, also for David. Jacob Wilson for the A's, for Tristan. Those are some other key players in this set. And there's a Garrett Forrester autograph for the Pirates. Tristan has Pittsburgh. Third round pick. Paul Skeens, his future teammate. Colt Emerson. Got Eric Batoni. 240 out of 499, sky blue paper for the Brew Crew, Adam with the Brewers. Colt will go to Seattle, that's for Tristan. Tristan also has the Pirates. Good draw on the randomizer for him.
Noble Meyer, Alberto Rios, Purple Chrome Autograph for the Angels, Anthony with the Halos. So that's the third and final auto, unless we get a bonus, third and final auto of this box. And then let's see if we can find some other low numbered parallels maybe. Noble Meyer for David M. and the Marlins. Some aqua coming up here, maybe? Yeah, Paul Skeens, nice. 30 out of 199. Yeah, that two color paper going to Tristan and the Pirates. Nice, your number one overall pick. Might have a chance to pitch to a number one overall pick if Henry Davis gets some work as a catcher next year. And there's Cole Miller, 108 out of 125, aqua wave for the A's, Tristan. All right, we're done. Three more autos, and just three cards, three autos. Fifth and final box. Thanks everybody for getting in, appreciate you. Uh, this break is also part of the promo, the holiday mixer promo. So we'll gather all of your names. If you look at the break schedule, you'll see a list of all the all the names involved in the promo as well. We need to do uh, 20 mixers. And I think Nick is going to post post a bunch more um, tomorrow over the next coming weeks, so we can get push that promo across the finish line and give away some nice stuff. All right, your final three autos. There's Joe Whitman, Green Lava. Autograph for the Giants. That's going to be for Tristan, who has my rivals. 77 out of 99. Second round pick. Nice. Then we've got another Giant. Luke Schilger. Another Giant for Tristan. Is this going to be a sweet? No. We've got Elian Soto. 56 out of 150, Mojo Refractor, and autograph for Adam and the Nationals. Picking up the very last hit at the end of this five-box break. Younger brother of Padre Slugger Juan Soto. Let's see what happens. And there you go, gang. That was our five-box all about that Bowman Draft Baseball Mixer. Keep an eye for more mixers on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Here's a quick little autograph recap that Henry Davis was really nice to see out of a mixer. A lot of nice color. We went back in time a little bit too. Got the printing plate. So a lot of fun stuff. Thanks, everybody. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with me. I'm Joe, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.